All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there toiling in this truth. I'm Pathaka Moth Jim as Dallas, and I'm just coming back at you with a really quick, uh, basically, World War III update. Uh, you know, because all these things uh, that are happening right now are leading up to the the uh, the final stages of the existence of America, man. You know what I'm saying? World War Three, uh, uh, the end of, of, of Esau's uh, kingdom, man, his rulership, you know, uh, <clears throat> and uh, I'm a player, as you can see on the screen. You know, I like to listen to this guy. He, he brings out a lot of good, good information, uh, full spectrum survival. And uh, he's uh, uh, going into a few things. I'm going I'm to play about the first three minutes or so, th three, three and a half minutes or so of this of this uh, uh, of this particular video. And he's going to get into a few things about what's going on over there and, in, 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 uh, you know, dealing with Taiwan, you know, which is all uh, a part of of. Uh, you know, things that are going to uh, bring uh, into fruition uh, that final uh, battle of Armageddon, World War Three, that's going to end this devil and his kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and then we're going to get into some scriptures, you know, because uh, America is going to be destroyed. World War Three is going to happen. You know, those thermonuclear uh, uh, missiles will be shot. You know, you got a lot of groups out here don't understand that. And they're, they're you know, we're hearing all kind of crazy stuff, you know, in Israel, you know, volcanoes and it's just all kind of stuff, you know, that, in, in, you know, these groups, man, they're off, man, you know, like there's no missiles, man, you know, hey, missiles are going to happen, man. These, these, these there is a race right now, man, you know, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to let him, <laughs> I'm going to let him get into it and, and go into some things, man. And, uh, you know, and then we're going to get some scriptures, man. We are getting word now that militaries across our world are preparing to go to war. They're preparing for the conflict that we all saw coming. When you have an economic crisis and a biological threat, history has told us time and time again since the recorded ages of the plagues that we would go to war. So if you wanted to know why China was telling its citizens to prepare, why nations are getting ready for conflicts in ways that have only been seen before a major movement is made in the theater of war, this is why. Reports show that China will work to develop and deploy up to 1,000 nuclear warheads and weapons over the course of the following years in a bid, they say, to overtake the U.S. arsenal. This is according to the U.S. Defense Department's report on the building and readiness of China's, uh, China's military and Chinese military to take on world powers in a massive movement of war and control. The sizable nation's nuclear acceleration may enable them to have up to 700 devel uh, deliverable warheads in just a short couple of years. We will defend Taiwan, and this will send the major nations of the world into armed conflict, warns one military historian. This is all coming to a head, warns another, as the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Chairman General, claim that the U.S. is prepared and absolutely could defend Taiwan from China. Not only has the U.S. Army warned that the pace and fervor that the Chinese military is building at is a warning to U.S. dominance in the region, now at the Aspen Security Forum, the Chairman General is reported to have warned that if China moves on Taiwan, U.S. forces absolutely this is a quote, absolutely have the capability to move into the theater of war and engage the nation over what Taiwan will decry as an act of immediate warfare within minutes of invasion. The U.S. military that uh, has what is known as strategic ambiguity. This is one report. So they're saying the U.S. military has strategic ambiguity. They have the ability to sit on the sidelines and then act with a moment's notice. But they will come to defend those allied pacts and agreements. Not doing so would leave the United States of America bare. Because let's face it, person for person, the U.S. versus China, the U.S. could never win. It would take superior firepower, and it would take, actually, 
an act of nuclear war. That is something that I do not want to happen. You do not want to happen. And it becomes harder and harder to prepare for every single day. What is happening right now is being seen as the most significant global power shift since the world wars. Russia is ready. China is ready. The United States is ready. And the world's economy is ready for new conflict. We are now witnessing a Sputnik moment. This is according to a military officer. We are witnessing one of the largest shifts in global geostrategic power. On October 17th, as you know, it was reported that China tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile in August that circled the globe before speeding down towards its target. This demonstrated, according to strategists, an advanced space capability that caught U.S. intelligence by surprise. Ethan Paul of the Quincy Institute. So there it is. That's that's enough. You know, I said I was going to pay about three and a half minutes, uh, you know, and he just going into the whole uh, thing with the conflict with Taiwan and all of these little skirmishes and, 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 and you know, little uh, strategic moves uh, that each is, is uh, uh, trying to uh, uh, make is going to lead to that final battle of Armageddon. And as you can see, he mentioned that that they tested a uh, hypersonic missile that went around the whole globe before it hit it you know hit its mark so all of these things are in the scriptures and of course we're ready man he said you know he's not ready and, and you're not ready no man we're ready man you know what i'm saying we we want these things to happen and another things that he another thing that he mentioned was that 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 power shift because that's actually what's happening right before these people's eyes is a power shift is happening but you know, it's not going to be it's not going to go from the from the U.S. to Russia. It's not going to go from the U.S. to China. No, man. You know, the next powers to be the next ruling class is going to be the Israelites, which which uh, uh, consist of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans and Seminole Indians of Negroid descent. You know, that's what's going on, man. You know, and, uh, uh, you know, these people, uh, uh, they love to to you know, try to deny the blessings, man. You know, there were two blessings given, not one, man. You know, and Esau has been in his blessing. There is another blessing that has to be fulfilled. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. You know, two blessings. You know, Hebrews 11 and 20. And Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. So, there, there, this, you know, when you read that, you can get that account in Genesis, the 27th chapter, man. It goes into both blessings, you know. The fatness of the earth and the dew from heaven. Those are the only two nations that were prophesied to uh, to uh, basically uh, control the entire planet. You know what I'm saying? Although other nations have had rulerships, you know, those are the only two nations in which the Edomites, Esau, uh, the Edomites are the so-called self-proclaimed uh, white man, woman and child. You know, they make up the true he red Hebrew Edomites, you know, and and. Those are the two nations, the only two nations that was prophesied, so like it, prophesied to uh, control the entire uh, uh, inhabited planet, man. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Esau has had that, man. You know what I'm saying? He's a controlling factor right now in the earth. He's the ruler. You know, he's running things. He's he's controlling the show right now. You know what I'm saying? He, his time is almost over, man. There's another one has to come, man. So it don't matter how much these people complain, cry, scream roll around, jump around, you know, you know, try to call us racist or whatever they want to do, man. You know, they can do whatever they want. These prophecies are going to come to pass. Revelations, the 19th chapter, you know, in verse 10, Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So it's all about prophecy, you know, and the prophecies are coming to pass, man. That's what we're dealing with. If you're not dealing with that, you're not, the most high is not dealing with you, you know, and the prophecies are, are speaking, man. And that's what's going on. But he mentioned that 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 power shift. So, you know, without any further ado, and then we're going to get into this this uh, this whole thing with a uh, World War three, because World War three is prophesied in the Bible. Missiles are prophesied in the, in, the, in the scriptures, man, in the in the Bible, man. So without any further ado, let's let's go to uh, Sirach. Chapter 10, and I'm going to read verse four. That's not going to let me do it. Boy, boy, boy. Ah, uh, OK. Sirach chapter 10 and verse 4. And it reads, 
The power of the earth is in the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. So, you know, the earth is, in, is, is the Lord's to give to whomever he pleaseth. He, tell, he tells you that in Daniel's the fourth chapter, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, Psalms the 75th chapter. You know, promotion is from the Lord, man. He raised up one, takes down another. So all of that is in the hand of the Lord. And the Lord gave the earth into the hand of the wicked, pursuing to Job, the ninth chapter and verse 24, man. You know, so it says here in Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiasticus of Rock, chapter 10, verse 4, the power of the earth is in the hand of, of in the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. We're in those times now, man, and that one that is profitable is Yahweh Shai, you know, our big brother, man, his only begotten son, you know, and in joint heir with him, pursuant to uh what's that, Romans the eighth chapter in verse 17, you know, the Israelites, man, beginning and starting with the elect. You know, so that's what's coming, man. Let's jump down to verse eight. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit, which is all the manner of, 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 of how this devil has gotten everything he's gotten, man. Those unrighteous dealings, those injuries and that deceit, man. He's a devil, man. He's the wicked, you know. So because it's Sirach 10 and eight, because of Unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. And that translation is not going into the hands of more Edomites, man. And it dang sure ain't finna go into the hands of some Moabites, man. You know? No, man. You know, eating octopus and 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 squ you know, uh, uh squid and 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 frogs, you know, spiders, everything, babies, you know. Kaka, you know, everything, man, <laughs> you know, they're eating all manner of, 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 of abomination, man, you know, and, and they, you think they're going to cats and dogs, rats, you know, that's the mouse spoken of in, in, uh, 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 Isaiah 66 and 17, I believe verse 17, uh, you know, the mouse, that's those Moabites, man. So you think the Lord is about to put the hand, the earth into their hands? No, man, those, the two blessings in Genesis, the 27th chapter are being fulfilled, man, you know, and we're in, we're in Esau's blessing and Jacob's blessing is to come, you know, again, uh, uh, second edges, uh, six and nine, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, you know, so that's what's going on, man. So, so those, Hey man, the, the arrows, the missiles are coming, man. World war three is a part of this thing. You know, it's, it doesn't matter how you feel about it. You know, it's prophecy playing out, man. You know, and the prophecies are, are, are coming to pass. This is Jeremiah chapter 51. And I'm going to drop down to, let's see, verse 11. Uh, where am I at? This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 11, and, and it reads, Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, for his devices against Babylon and the kings of the Medes. That's the that's the uh, those Russians, man. Which Russia is a is going is is that that major uh, uh, entity that's going to come up against Babylon. And of course, China plays a a, a, a very integral part in that, man. If, along with all of their allies. And then at the end of the day, America's allies are, go are going to turn against them, uh, pursuant to Revelation, the Book of Revelation, the seventeenth chapter, man. You know what I'm saying? So there's going to be a whole lot of missiles fired on this place, man. So it says Jeremiah 51 and 11, make bright the arrows. Those arrows are the nuclear missiles. Gather the shields. Yahweh Shai hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes for his devices against Babylon. Babylon represents America, man. You know what I'm saying? To destroy it because it is the vengeance of Yahweh Shai, the vengeance of his temple and his temple is is the Israelites beginning and starting with the elect, man. You know what I'm saying? So those arrows are going to be shot, man. As a matter of fact, when you read in, in, in Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, you know, when you read it, read at the top of that, of, of this verse is going into uh, Gog and Magog, man, which is, is a representative of uh, Russia today, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm going to jump down to, to uh, verse 15. And we're going to read. This is uh, verse 15. And thou shalt come. Salakia, don't want that. Yes, okay, con, con. Uh, 38 and 15, and thou shalt come from thy place out of the north parts, thou and many people with thee. 
all of them riding upon horses and great and a Salakia, a great company and a mighty army, you know, which is what's going to happen, man. You know, all of those nations uh, and, and their allies, you know, uh, Russia, China, Korea, North Korea, all of these all of these uh, 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 nations and, and their allies are going to come up against this place, man. You know what I'm saying? A great company and a mighty army, you know, to shoot missiles on America, man. You know why? Because a um, uh, uh, World War Three is prophesied in the Bible, man. You know what I'm saying? But first, let me uh, let me go let me go to uh, Second Ezra's real quick. Let me get Second Ezra's real quick. Second Ezra's chapter sixteen, and I'm gonna start at verse thirteen. The Second Ezra sixteen and thirteen. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow; his arrows that he shooteth are sharp. You know, those arrows again, man. It's representative of the missiles, man. The thermonuclear missiles. They ain't making these missiles, these hypersonic missiles that this, this, this dude just spoke about. They ain't making these things for nothing. He just, he's just, he just spoke of China testing a, a missile that went around the whole globe, man, before it hit his mark. You know, it's going into it. And shall not miss. Which that's, that's it goes into that also in a, uh, a Joel, the second chapter, man. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world, man, and the ends of the world represent America, man. You know, those miracle, those missiles are going to come over here and hit over here from over there. That's the ends of the world, man. Behold, verse 14, behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The plagues are sent, man. What are those plagues? As a matter of fact, let's find out and then we'll come back. Let's get the what those plague the, the, the plague is, is representative of. This is Zechariah chapter 14. And I'm gonna jump down to verse 12. And read. And this shall be the plague, there it is, wherewith Yahweh Shai will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Man, what can cause that? A thermonuclear missile. That mushroom cloud, you know, that, that wave of, 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 of a tempest and wind, that heat, you know, it's going to cause that eyeballs to, to, to melt in their sockets, your tongue to melt in its mouth, man, your skin basically to melt off your body. And I always mention that scene uh, uh, at the end of, of uh, uh, Terminator 2, man, with Sarah Connor on, the, on that fence, man. You know, that's a beautiful illustration of what a nuke is going to do. And these and these devils know that. That's why they put that in that movie, man. You know, only you got Jake out here on some sci-fi type shit, man. You know, it's not sci-fi. It's real deal. Holy feel, man. And they're going to find out real, real soon how real deal it is, man. You know, so going back, let's go back to Second Ezra, the 16th chapter. And uh, where were we at? Uh, let's see. Uh, read verse 14 again, Second Ezra 16 and 14. Behold, the plagues are sent, which we know those plagues are the missiles. That's why the scriptures keep speaking of the arrows, those bright, sharp arrows, man, being shot into the end of, ends of the earth, man. Uh, behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth because they're going to be out in the outer atmosphere and then they're going to come into the atmosphere and they're going to hit their marks, man. And they're not going to miss, man, because the spirit of the, of the Lord is going to be on those missiles, man. The first 15, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth, man. All those places that the Lord wants to hit, man. It's not talking about the actual earth, the whole globe, every part of the globe is going to be. No, man. The Lord is not going to destroy the earth. He's going to destroy within the earth, all over the earth, man. You know? Verse 16, like as an arrow. Here it is again, boy, these arrows, man. You know, yet you got cats out here, these camps that, you know, these wayward camps with their er doctrines, you know, talking about ain't no missiles, man. And going into everything but the missiles, volcanoes and all kind of madness, man. You know, like as an arrow, the thermonuclear missile, which is shot of a mighty archer. It's going to come out of those silos. Returneth not backward. Even so, the plagues, those missiles, we just proved it in Zechariah 14, that shall be sent 
upon earth shall not return again. You know, so, hey, man, those missiles are coming. <laughs> Don't matter how you feel about it, or what you think about it. They're coming, man. You know, because World War Three is prophesied in the Bible, man, to happen, man. And, he, and it's setting up right before these people's very eyes. And, and even Israelites can't even see it, man, you know. Which proved that the Lord ain't dealing with everybody, man. You know, so let's real quick, let's get in in uh, Revelation, the 11th chapter. And I'm going to jump down to verse 14. And it reads, the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. You know, and woe represents destruction. You know, world war. You know, so the second destruction slash world war is past and behold the third destruction slash world war cometh quickly that's what that's going into so world war ii has passed and world war three you know armageddon is coming quickly that's what this is going into because all three wars were prophesied in the scriptures man let's get that real quick before i get out of here is revelations chapter 8 we're gonna go to the last verse verse 13 and and i beheld and heard an angel flying through the mist of heaven saying with a loud voice woe 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 to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to sound man so three woes were prophesied world war one that first destruction first world war world war two that second destruction a uh, 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 woe and world war three that third destruction man they were all prophesied and we just read in revelation the 11th chapter in verse 14 that the second war is past and the third woe cometh quickly, man. It's talking about world wars, man. One, two, and three, you know. And one and two have happened, and three is building and about to happen. We're we're already basically in World War Three, you know. There's levels to war, you know. And hey, man, we're almost in hot war, man. So that and that's why all these things are happening, you know. With 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 you know the the thing with Taiwan and all these little skirmishes that they're having, man. You know. So. It's going to come to that and it's going to happen. There is nothing that you can do. <laughs> hey, man, you know what I'm saying? This is the Lord's platform. This is Lord's. Uh, 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 this is his story. This is this is his movie, man. You know, and prophecies are playing out, man, and they're going to happen. These things are going to come to pass because the, the ultimately uh, the Israelites are going to uh, rule the earth for eternity and righteousness, you know, under our big brother, Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? That's what's coming, man. You know, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know, Matthew 6 and 10. You know, these things are coming and there's nothing that can be done about it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we want these things, homeboy. You know what I'm saying? He said, I don't want this and, and you don't want it. No, we do want it. You know what I'm saying? Because we want the kingdom of heaven. We're tired of America. We're tired of Esau ruling over, rule, ruling over us with his foot in our neck, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're, we're tired of wickedness, man. We're tired of these weak, defiled bodies, man. We want the we want righteousness, you know. We want the glorified bodies, man. You know what I'm saying? We want order, you know. So, and we want to we want to put our boot in this in in this devil's neck, man. You know. So, hey, at the end of the day, it's a beautiful thing. You know, all these things are beautiful, you know. And uh, uh, again, prophecy is playing out. You know, and uh, hey, just another uh, uh, updating report, man. You know, because we're the spirit spiritual reporters, man. So for you, how about you, I was shy. So, uh, hey, hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect. With that, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shah Dawadah, Shalom.